all right, so your videos don't generate any views and you struggle to make a living out of YouTube, then these two points might be the reason. Stay tuned, let's go. So I do have three different favorite YouTubers, let's say it like this way. And over the time I figured somehow out that uh, specific equipment gear, let's, let's say drones, lenses, camera stuff, right? I see somehow a little bit of a yeah, schedule in this. This means, however, if a new product is released by a company, let's say DJI, the latest drone, or Sony, the newest camera, GoPro, for example, the GoPro Hero, what is it, 11? 11, I guess, yeah, that was the last one. What nobody says to you is that the big YouTuber don't buy the stuff they shown to you, right? This is their first advantage. It's not that they go to Best Buy, to Walmart or wherever, they are sponsored. And this means also that they don't have the permission to, yeah, release a video of its product at any time. So it's scheduled normally. I've, I found out it's uh, on a Tuesday and on this specific day, the notifications are just showing up, plop, plop, plop. New video about, for example, last time the GoPro 11. This is a job. This is a simply a job. They get paid for testing the product and use their audience to promote the product. And this is also a huge disadvantage for you because this gives you or does not give you the opportunity to promote new products on YouTube because YouTube lives of new products. So it doesn't make sense make videos about old stuff like I did in the past because no one wants to watch this because there are good developed videos out there, right? And the only thing you can do is after the official release of the product to make a video about this. But by this time, a huge amount of views were generated by the big YouTubers. And for me, the second most important point is simply that a huge part of the YouTubers, not everyone, but a huge amount had already developed a, let's say, primary business, like photography, video, blob, video, photography, doesn't matter. They already had a business. And the YouTube channel in, in this case is simply a nice to have, right? They gain they earn their money with their primary business. I think the most impressive example for this one is JP Performance in Germany. That guy just simply made cars as his core business. And then they had the yeah, idea to make videos for YouTube. And this is how the audience grow, grew up over the time. The other guy just had photo business. All these guys make their living with different jobs, not from YouTube. A huge amount of them make their living with different kind of jobs, not YouTube. There are exceptions, right? But the majority is not living from YouTube. These were my two primary points for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the thumbs up button and see you in the next one. Peace. Another day, another dollar.
close this thing a little bit. I try to prevent making 